hi wait do you know what would be funny if you hmm. said the hi how, how are you and i just mouthed over it <laughs> we can just give That's it a gonna try. be very challenging oh you doubt my mouthing capabilities hi how are you my name is anthony from cypher house escape and we are looking at the Doro Caro puzzle hunt. <laughs> I think that worked perfectly. <laughs> Welcome back to another Doro Caro video. This time me and my professional Easter egg finder Nick are going to continue working on the meta puzzle and trying to complete the Doro Caro puzzle hunt. I still am waiting for the stargazing puzzle. Last time we were able to make it partway through the meta puzzle. We don't know how deep this thing goes. It seems to it'd be the kind of meta puzzle that's going to keep on going for a while. So we started up a new video just to start fresh, and we're going to jump right in where we left off last time. Okay, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to start back our timer, and we'll get going. The link is where's, where's Sporky? At last you've found all the eggs. You return to the bedroom, but this time the note has changed. You revisited the films and retrieved the recollections to determine Sporky's direction. Okay, so where are we indexing into the answers again? Okay, so on this new page, we now have a new list of the movies with enumerations. And so we've transferred those movies over to the sheet along with these enumerations, and we're going to try indexing into the puzzle answers again. I don't know what we're doing with all the letters that we collected. Oh. Wait, if you read them backwards, it spells Bonnie's trash can. You might want to wait until we solve this for it to tell us to read it backwards, Anthony. <laughs> you think that's what it's going to say? Uh, forget I said that, then. <laughs> let's let's solve this puzzle. <laughs> uh, ninth letter of Incredibles is an O. Eighth letter of Piper is an R. Third letter of Incredibles is a C. You, you retrace your steps. Yeah, and so it says Bonnie's trash can if you read that backwards. Aha, Bonnie's trash can is located at, and then we have a new link. <laughs> we keep thinking that's it. <laughs> there keeps being more. I like that. Puzzled oh. toys toy with puzzles. Oh, this is a little it, bit of everything. This is a really good meta. I'm really happy with this. You peer into the trash can where you find Sporky quietly crying to himself. Sporky, what are you doing in there? Why are you crying? Because I'm trash. You're Bonnie's favorite toy, Spork. Toy? I'm not a toy. Look at me. I'm a Spork. Toys come in all shapes and sizes, Sporky. We're all unique, and Bonnie loves us all. Don't you see? I'm not like the rest of you. You toys all have each other, but I'm different. I don't have anyone. You watch as Sporky digs himself deeper into the trash can. How can we convince Sporky that he's loved? So we have a bunch of mini puzzles now that all seem to be based off of the previous puzzles. And some of these previous puzzles we haven't done. Okay, so I'm gonna work on filling in this nonogram puzzle. So we have to have these cells blue. We have a full green column for seven. Um, this column has to have three greens down here. And the two greens for the top row are there. Oh yeah, the way this puzzle worked was we made a picture of the good dinosaur and then it was braille, right? So yeah, actually the blue was probably the only thing I needed to I needed to do. Okay, so this first sub puzzle gave us another braille character and this braille character is the letter Y. So I'm putting a Y over here. Okay, now back when we did this puzzle, we had to use the pronunciation of one of the names of these dishes in order to fill in the blanks of the phrase. And then we indexed into the name of that dish to get a letter using the number that was in the phrase. So this phrase is you blank blank mom has two great blank des on making dim sum. I think it's the last one because I got, you know, my mom has two great gay des. Guy des? Okay, so we're going to take the second letter from this know my guy, which is an O. All right, the third and the fourth sub puzzles are references to puzzles that we haven't done yet, so we're gonna jump straight into the fifth sub puzzle. Um, okay, let's... so let's solve this mas you. Looks good. So it looks like afterwards we lined it up with our Sudoku that we solved. So in this case, it looks like all of the spaces are gone through except for the one with the E in it. I think we're supposed yeah. to take the letter E here. So I think this is going to spell you something. You've. Oh, maybe. Yeah, another puzzle we haven't looked at yet, so we're going to skip six and go straight to seven. 
Okay, so this is another Sudoku, like the puzzle. What puzzle was this again? Was this the first one we did? I think this was Highway Patrol, the very first puzzle that we did. We completed the Sudoku puzzle. Um, the numbers, the route numbers added up to the sums of the numbers inside of them. In this case, it just looks like we're going to be extracting the blue number. All right, so in the bottom left above the six, it has to be a two because that's the only spot it can go. Well, if you want to look up uh, what car 51 is in the meantime, I can... Ruby Oaks? All right, yeah. so it looks like we're getting an O for this uh, puzzle. All right, let's go to puzzle eight. Okay, so this is related to that inside out puzzle. I think we're just okay. looking to get these two answers and then see where they cross. This brain region processes sensory stimuli, e.g. temperature, taste, touch, and movement. Parietal lobe. The brain region processes information from the eyes and is responsible for vision, including depth, perception, distance, and object recognition. Occipital lobe. Okay. O Occipital lobe. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we get the letter T from this one. All the ones that we haven't done are towards the beginning. Okay, so we're skipping nine. So it looks like we just need to see if they eat seed, maybe, and if the wetland, forest, or grassland. Yeah, the pygmy nut hatch seems to go with the forest. Yeah, the spotted sandpiper, it says the coast dwellers. Yeah, I think it would go over the F, right? I agree. So we get an F, this is puzzle 10, puzzle 11. Oh yeah, the one that gives us a Google Earth image. Whale sharks. So we get an A. But this is from Mulan. Is this going to be be a man? <laughs> Maybe. I'm never going to catch my breath. It is be a man. Yeah, we found one word that was different, and then we indexed into that to get a letter. Emotion. Did he say emotion? So, so we just e. take the first letter and get an E. Is this another one? No, we did this one. We had to find the rats, right? I don't know if we need to do that Ron word stuff here. No, I don't think so. There's only one place that rat shows up, and it's in rating. And so that would give us the I. So I'm not really sure I like this letter pattern so far, but that could be it. Okay, 14 is something we haven't done yet. And then 15 is that incredible puzzle. What's the result what right now? Okay, so we have 11 and we need to get to 55, which means we need something of rank five to the power of one. So we're multiplying by five basically. But okay, so what did we do then with this puzzle to extract an answer? We used that phrase that was under each of them, right? So in this case, we used a card with power f with rank five to the power of one. So we're gonna take the fifth word, fifth letter. Well, okay, so we get a Y from this. Do we have any idea what this answer is gonna be? This E, I'm thinking this E is wrong. Where did we get this E? I, I think it's an M. I don't know what it is, but I think the last word's family. <laughs> You've got a family. You've got a family. That sounds right. Okay, meta puzzle to convince Sporky. We're going to tell him you've got a family. That's it. And it's raining confetti. That's correct. Yay. So it links to the song You've Got a Friend in Me. You've got a family, Sporky. Look around you. We're all your family. Whether you're an elf, a monster, a bug, fish, a rat, you're part of this Pixar family. I I am? Yeah, without you, our family wouldn't be complete. We need you, Sporky. Just then, the portal toy begins to shake and whir. The portal flickers a few times before shooting out a beam of light at the mirror. The beam bounces off the reflection and scatters into a projection on the wall. One by one, familiar faces start appearing on the screen. Flick, Mike, and Sully, Nemo, and Dory, and the rest of the Pixar heroes all join the call. We're family, they all exclaim at once. Your voices fill the room and send shivers down Sporky's plastic spine. <laughs> Bonnie feels warm and safe with you, Sporky. She needs you, we all do. I'm so happy, he says, as his googly eyes well up with tears. You've made me realize that I'm important too. I love you guys. We love you too, Sporky. The end. Congratulations on finishing. We hope you enjoyed the hunt. That's it for the Darokaro hunt. What's our final time? One hour and 16 minutes that we spent on the meta puzzle. That includes the 38 minutes that we spent last video um, getting through the Easter egg portion of it. Okay, so it took us 425 minutes to solve all of the puzzles that we've solved in this series, and that's a total of just over seven hours to finish the hunt. 
Okay, so that wraps it up for the Darokaro puzzle hunt. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I really enjoyed this hunt. Yeah. Anthony, but what yeah. about Stargazing? What about Heroine's Journey, Charm and the Cryptic? There were tons of other good puzzles that I want to solve. All right, Nick, fine. Just for you, we will continue to solve some more of these Darokaro puzzles that we haven't seen yet. All right, so let's spin this wheel again and see what puzzle we get to solve next. Nick, I have good news for you. It's Heroine's Journey. I know that's the one that you've been rooting for this whole time. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start our timer and we'll start Heroine's Journey. Three, two, one, here we go. Some say that Willow the Wisps can lead you to your fate. Although Merida felt lost at first, she eventually found her way. We have like a word search slash maze. Should we try to solve the maze first? I, I uh, solved the puzzle. The entire the puzzle? The oh, whole the maze. maze? The maze. Yeah, I'm going from the end, and so far it's pretty easy. I've almost I, solved the maze. I, I We cross over 15 wisps. I don't know if that matters. So I counted the wisps. There's 20 wisps, and there's 20 words. Oh, okay. So maybe these words are crossing over the wisp. Like maybe the wisps... Oh, I think I know what it is. The wisps are probably replacing a letter from each of these words, and we're going to read the letters that are along the maze path to get our final answer. If you go straight down from the entrance, um, you eventually hit a C, okay. and there's a wisp to the left of it. Yes. There's Dunbrock. Okay, so that's Dunbrock. Uh, it's running backwards from right to left. You see King Fergus, so that'll be an F. It's a uh, Will o the Wisp coming up from the top right and down to the left. Okay, so we have an O. All right, it looks like that's Queen Eleanor. Queen Eleanor. Queen Eleanor. Is this going to say fold? We Dingwall. Oh, we Dingwall. Yeah, the yep. crow coming up from the bottom. Looks like it's going to be running up from the right, the witch. I think it's Yun Macintosh. The wisp is the Y. I think the answer is going to be follow your heart. So we have follow your. Your guess of follow your heart could be right. Yes. Unless it's a pun. Could be a pun. But it's not. This is an H. Is it? Yeah, Harris. going to the right, it's Harris. All right, I'll try follow your heart. Keep going. To follow your hearts, first you'll need to find them. Oh, so we need to find hearts in the puzzle? Um, I think I see some hearts in the grid here. And then heart is spelled going down, down right, upright, and up. Yeah, it kind of makes like a, the bottom of a heart. Yes, oh, then the L is inside of the heart. Yeah. If it dips back down. Makes a heart with the L on the inside. Okay, so we need to find a bunch of hearts like this. So do you think we're using the inner? Probably the inner letters, right? Like maybe it's going to yeah. spell love love or something. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going row by row looking for an H. The next one that I see is below the... The H is below the N. Same row as that H to the right. There's an I. Loving a... Am I? I think it's going to be loving family. So loving family... That's correct. Our time for that puzzle was 21 minutes. So from the meta puzzle, this was sub puzzle 14. Do we have the word heart in here? Yeah, okay, heart goes around the blue wisp in the middle. Scotland is straight down the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, so it's an L. Okay, let's spin the wheel again and see what puzzle we're gonna solve next. Nick, I have good news. The yeah. puzzle is when one door closes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start our timer and we'll take a look at this puzzle. Three, two, one, go. When one door closes, Mike wanted to make a trip around the world in record time. He started his super fun journey, a fearsome monster, and came back changed. SF. And there's a bunch of these doors. So each of these doors looks like it has an instruction on it. And so I think we're going to have to find the order of these instructions, basically. SF, San Francisco. And this one door has the San Francisco Giants on it. So I'm thinking each door is going to have maybe two images on it. One that hints where the next place we're going to go is. Well, isn't that, that's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge on the bottom of the door. Isn't that also in San Francisco, though? Oh, yes, it is. So we're going to remove a quantity from Fearsome which yeah. is probably just some, right? 
So the first word is fearsome. Mm -hmm. Time. I get it. Time? Time zones. Oh. These are these are all different time zones, I'm guessing. I'm thinking we're just basically sorting them from west to east. So we start with California, obviously, then we go to New York, then it's Brazil. We go over to France, then Egypt, then India, China, and lastly, Sydney. Did I skip Japan? And so Tokyo goes in here. Okay, so we start with fearsome and then re we remove a quantity. So, so remove some. Yes. Shake the terror for a price. So we anagram fear and we get... Fair, F-A-R-E. Yes, fair. Now hide the failing grade, so I assume we just have R. Kung Fu Panda covers the playing card. So the Kung Fu Panda, I think his name is, I think his name's Poe. Yeah, P-O. So P-O-R-E. Convert energy into a desk. It does look like there's such a thing as a K desk, I'm finding. So yeah, let's try yeah. pork. Cancel out gas constant. That's the R, so we get pock. Maybe maybe desk was supposed to be T, because then we'd have pot here. I kind of like the T better. Let's try it. Trade a cooking container. Okay, pot. That's good. Trade a cooking container for a French friend. That's Ami, A-M-I. Recast actress Faro. Is that Amy by any chance? Oh, Mia. Do we just make this Dora then? Because Mia has the last letter first, so a door. Actually, I did see that a French friend could be a me with an E on the end if you're taking a feminine version. And uh -huh. then if we do what I'm saying here, we do a door, we keep that E on the end. Oh. We cast it. Have the O undergo mitosis. Mitosis is just when a cell divides. So we just like... get two of them? So it's a door, but with two O's, like, like the door that we're going through? Okay, we're gonna try a door as the answer with two O's. That's incorrect. What are we doing here? Okay, wait, I have an idea. I think I see what's happening here. Okay, so back when we were meant to uh, convert energy to a desk, I think the desk was a table. So portable. Then we cancel out the gas constant to get potable. And then we trade pot for, I think, just AMI. Now we have Mia. And we can trade Mia for Dora. Yeah, and we get adorable. And we get, yeah, adorable with two O's. That's correct. Our time for that puzzle was just about 20 minutes. So in the meta puzzle, this was number nine. nine. So we start with incorporated. Company goes to battle. A uh, corp goes the war? I don't know if that's a word. I think it's corporate. And we get inward. A hospital room moves to California. Ward mm -hmm. goes to CA. Yes. And then dissolve the legal entity, Inc. Inc. And we're left with A. Okay, so that wraps it up for another video of the Daro Karo puzzle hunt. But don't worry, we are going to solve stargazing for Nick as well as the other puzzles because we really like this hunt and we want to finish the puzzles that are involved in it. So stay tuned, video six of the Daro Karo puzzle hunt will involve us solving, hopefully solving these last three puzzles and then we'll be done with the hunt. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and as always, happy escaping. I hope you did the hand gesture, Anthony. I did. <laughs>